All right, I just got up to Scout Point, I believe it's called. And I'm at the base of the trail to ascend Angel's Landing. So hopefully I get some decent footage. Sun's starting to come up. At least I made it up to here before the sun got here. Uh, not gonna record the whole hike, uh, just the interesting parts, I think. Uh, the whole thing probably a little too long. So here we go. All right, get a little bit of the approach to the bottom. Got a pretty good view over here. Be much better at the top of Angel's Landing. Wish I wasn't sniffling so much. Strenuous climb, narrow routes with cliffs exposed. <sighs> Sounds fun. Six people have died falling from the cliffs on this route. One and a half, or sorry, 1.1 mile round trip from Scout Lookout. Scout Lookout, not Scout Point. All right, I was close. Ice may be present, and it is 34 degrees. Good thing I have my spikes. And I'm gonna start the climb at that chain right there. Probably just get the video up to the chain and then turn it off for a bit. Can you even, yeah. Yeah, you can actually see the peak. Can't see the east rim. Got a nice cloud over it. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, nice. Whew. Don't want to get too close to that. All right, there's Angel's Landing. Got to go down that spine over there. I don't know if you can, hopefully it's in view. Up to there, be at the top. Hopefully, I'm gonna be going up that 
to lookout point, or sorry, observation point after I'm down off of Angel's Landing. That looks like a, an ass kicker. Better move up, pick up my pace if I'm gonna be able to do both. Pretty close to the edge. Know quite a few people that would not like this. Me personally, I think it's awesome. Love this stuff. Ooh, a little narrow here. stop it till I get over there a bit. <laughs> nice hiccup for you. Chains are wet. Ooh, a little slippery there. Nice groove. I don't have that angled up too much. Be nice to have a view screen, see what it's seeing. Whew. Whew. Almost there.
Yeah, a little bit of ice. Not too bad. Shoot. Okay. Ooh, I see. Here an avalanche. Smaller one. Ice on the ice on the chain now. Probably gonna put my spikes on. Coming back down this. Oh, not too bad, you. Looking back where we just came from. Uh, just some snow and ice falling. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll get smaller avalanches. I was here last March and there were some pretty big ones. Yeah. Those over towards the, the west rim though. You don't get too many of them over here. Started down there on the canyon floor, almost to the top. Back at the rest of the valley. A little colder up here. I'm gonna have to put my thicker gloves on. Almost there. Whew.
<clears throat> All right. Angel's landing. Let's walk out to the end. Hey, you can see my car down there by the river. See if you can make it out in the video. All right, that's pretty much it, unless you want to start going down. I don't really see any point in that. I want to try to get back down to the bottom. I'm parked way over here at the bottom. I want to go around, down to there, hike up to Observation Point, which is, I think, that one. I think. Could be that one. I don't know. Hopefully we find out when we go, oh cool, there's a small waterfall. Might get a good shot of that later. But uh, top of Angel's Landing. There's the west rim over there. Keep driving up that way. Goes up to the Narrows, up in that canyon there. Anybody ever gets the opportunity to come here, Zion National Park, highly recommend it. One of my favorite national parks. I mean, granted I like most of them, but this is the top of the list. All right. All right, coming back down Angel's Landing. Kind of wish I would have filmed uh, going down. It was actually quite a bit more intimidating than going up. But uh, as you can see, sun's out, warming things up. I'm about to go over one of the more narrow parts, which I don't know why, but some reason people freak out about this spot. Not any of that, but that. So just get a quick video going through it picked up some trash. Somebody left the hiking pole halfway up Angel's Landing. Um, assuming because it's busted, I didn't feel like carrying it down, so I uh, grabbed it. I don't like people leaving trash. Whoo! Narrow spot. Nice day with the sun out now. It's definitely one of my favorite hikes. It's pretty, pretty uh, good climb. You get a, I don't know, I don't remember. I think 2,000 feet altitude from the canyon floor. The chain portion definitely keeps most people out of here. Well, maybe not most. Most people are scared of heights anyway. I was sliding on my butt a few times coming down. Just uh, a little too intimidating at the 
ice and snow. Ice and snow wasn't too bad. It could have been a lot worse. I didn't even end up using my spikes. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna see if I can get down quickly and head over to observation point. I'd really like to make it to the top of that if I can. So uh, touch back in uh, or check back in towards the bottom of the going along the side of the cliff with the chain. Not nearly as bad as up on Angel's Landing. But you could still die pretty easily if you slipped and fell. You'd go right over that ledge. Not a place for showing off. Awesome. Almost back to Scout Lookout. All right, just wanted to make a point that you have to get up to the base of Angel's Landing before you can hike the remaining ascent, or whatever, you know what I mean. But uh, this part is called Walter's Wiggles. Very steep switchbacks and it will kick your butt. Well, maybe not everyone's, but kicks my butt anyway. Actually going down's the painful part. Going up kind of burns your legs as far as uh, the exertion, but going down, killer on the knees. But uh, I wanna get down there so I can go up observation point. Going down the wiggles, thought I'd get an idea, just give an idea of how steep and how sharp they are. Whee. It's been pretty fun to ride a bike down actually. As long as you didn't brakes didn't burn out and you fly off the side. <laughs> Just got a mental picture of that in my head. Probably not a funny one, but <laughs> made me laugh. <laughs> Killer on the knees. Whew. All right, that's it for the wiggles. Head back down to the canyon floor. First time I hiked here, it was coming down from the West Rim. It was July. It's incredibly hot. And this little canyon area right here was a godsend because the sun couldn't hit me and uh, made a big difference. <laughs> so if you ever uh, want to go hiking here in the summertime, plan ahead because uh, water is pretty important. There's a spring at the top of the West Rim, right at the top near campsite two, I think. Pretty sure it's two. But the uh, first time I was here, I carried way too much water. Ended up being a bad idea. <laughs> I'll leave the details uh, to your imagination, but it wasn't good. So uh, about halfway down. All right, coming out of that canyon I was just talking about, and it opens up into the valley. Or canyon floor, valley, whatever you want to call it. Just want to give you a quick shot of that. I don't know why I'm smiling so much. Maybe it's just because I love being here. So down there is the trail. 
to get up to the base of uh, the canyon, which takes you up to the base of Walter's Wiggles. I might need to put my poles to use here shortly. I don't know how much more abuse my knees can take of this downhill without them. Sun's out. That's really nice. I just want to get around this corner and give you another view. Alright. You can see the trail over there. Some people coming up. Only passed three other people to the top when I was coming up this morning. Let's head back down to the bottom.